Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. As you saw the unboxing, I unboxed the EVGA Supernova 1300 Gold Plus Power Supply. I think this is a great power supply, but before I talk about it, I will tell you the price that I got. I got this power supply for $209, uh, which is a great price, because if you saw my previous videos, uh, I got, for example, the power spec power supply for $249, which only supplied 1200 watt, and the brand is not really known. But that one worked great, but the price was a little bit high. And this time that I wanted to buy a power supply, I found this one. And the EVGA 1300 Gold Plus. And even if you're watching this video at the time, and the offer is not available, and it's normal price for 269 I still think you should consider it. Um, because this is a great power supply. Uh, let's move on talking about it. As you saw the unboxing, everything about this uh, power supply feels premium. Even the packaging, uh, which was really nice. And the wires, all of the cables had the mesh on it uh, that I really liked. Even the size of the, capa the capacitors uh, within the power supply and the size of the power supply on its own, it's really great and bigger than the normal size power supply. And... You can feel that it is the real 1300 watt power supply. Uh, this power supply also comes with a quiet fan and echo mode. Uh, so once you connect it to the your PC, you barely can hear the fan from the power supply. Opposite of some other ones, if you saw my Corsair video, uh, Corsair power supply that I unboxed, that one had a lot of noise. But this one is really quiet and I really liked it. Um, more than everything, this power supply is a fully modular power supply that comes with all of the cables. That's the great thing about it. And since I needed all of the cables. And it also has a 10 year warranty. Uh, as you saw in the video, it comes with 4 SATA cables, 2 CPU cables, which you only need one of them. Uh, obviously for most people and two Molex cables and one motherboard cable and it comes with the four single VGA cable which is the PCIe that you can connect it for example right into your 6600 um, because it only needs one PCIe it also comes with um, two uh, split PCIe uh, which I don't recommend you using it on your um, graphic card because uh, draining from both of those it's not good. Maybe you can do use that for your risers, so you can uh, give power to two risers through that. But uh, if you're trying to use it on your graphic card, definitely uh, go only for one of them. Don't split one cable into two slots for your graphic card um, because you're gonna overheat and drain all of the power through one wire and that's not good for the cable for the power supply and for your graphic card so in order to be safe just plug in two cables to your graphic card if it for example if you have a 3060 ti ultra by evga those one have two slot or if you have a 6700 those also have two slot 3070 same thing yeah, and let's go ahead and see the. Okay, so for the cable connection, you can see that all of the cable I show you, you can connect it here. You have VGA1, VGA2, VGA3, VGA4, up to VGA6. You have the SATA, SATA1, 2, 3, 4, motherboard, and the Molex, and also the CPU. Um, Overall, I think this power supply is only good for people who do, who do mining uh, cryptocurrencies uh, because um, for a gaming PC, you definitely don't need a 1300 watt unless you're doing video editing with multiple graphic cards. Like at least you should have three or more graphic cards and then you should consider getting this one. Uh, 
but other than this, for people who are mining, I can I can say that you can connect up to six sixty six hundred to it, and it's pretty safe. But if you want to connect 6700, maybe you can connect 4 or 5. You have, or if you connecting a 3060, for those you have to do your own research on how many you can connect with it. Uh, but I know for 6600, um, you, the only wattage that you're getting through the graphic card is 100 watt, and then you have 6 of them, 600. Your computer consumes uh, like 400, that's 1000, and then you have 300 extra. Uh, so in case anything happens, you're not going to burn up your GPUs. But definitely uh, do not just go off of what I'm saying. Do your own research and uh, make sure to be safe. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And uh, if you want to see some cheaper power supplies that you can afford for mining or if you're a gamer or someone who does video editing and want a, a little bit cheaper power supply like 1000 cool plus 850 definitely go watch my other videos. Other than this, thank you for watching this video.